do, James, uh, go ahead and kick start it. Great. Hey, thank you so much. And just to clarify, uh, we have designed products and uh, we designed a final expense product that you're using, which we appreciate with American National Texas. Uh, so, and then we also help with distribution all over the country, but it is a privilege to be here with you. And once again, we have a great deal of admiration for Case, the organization that he's built and a lot of integrity and experience. And that's why you're here. And that's why you joined the company. So once again, I want to continue in that vein, but I'm going to share a couple of things with you right off the bat. And that is we understand that the greatest resource any company has, including Case's company and our insurance companies, is you, the agent. Because in the final analysis, we can design the greatest products in the world, but the ultimate judge is the clients. And if you interview clients after they buy something, you ask them, why did you buy that? 88% of that sell was because of you. Only 12% is the product. That's why I spend so much time developing agents and helping them understand concepts because there's two things that agents miss out on dramatically. And if you understand this, your business will go skyward very, very quickly. And that is to really understand the concept of needs-based selling, all right? That's understanding the client from their point of view and how your product can help that person. Secondly, is conceptual selling. You put those two together, you become irresistible. And I'm gonna share with you some things today about annuities, how to sell annuities. And if you really understand, don't fight me, just open your mind and heart up and say, wow, and take notes. I'm gonna say a few words that if you use, you'll see a response from your client. Bottom line. All right, now, I want you to write this down first of all. What is the first thing that comes to mind when I say tied? What is the first thing you thought of? How about the word Mustang? What are you thinking of? What do you think of when I say yeah. plop, plop, fizz, fizz? Some of you older people remember that, right? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you doing today? <laughs> Now, what do you think of when I say the word? I'm doing all right. Just annuities. about to step out into the elements, but at least it ain't too, too cold out there right now. Here we go. Um, so one of the things that uh, is interesting, when you hear the word annuity, now most people, when I say tide, they think of detergent. Must think they think of a car. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz, you think of Alka-Seltzer. But tide is really where I live. I live on an island. I think of a tide coming in. Must think I think of a horse. But advertising has changed how you look at things. And the same thing applies with annuities. The public has been beat down with annuities. Annuities are bad and not a good investment. You're getting ripped off. And that's not the case. So when you're interacting with clients, the first thing you want to do is you've got to appeal to their curiosity. Which, and guys, you know this. You're all professional salespeople. You've got to capture their attention. How do you do that? By finding unsatisfied curiosity. That's the secret. So we got to get their interest. So what I like to say, and if you're taking notes, write this down because this will work for you. And I know Angelina will write this down because you're, you're interested in marketing annuities. And here it is in a nutshell. I have discovered a little known tax secret embedded in our tax code. And I want to share it with you. Once you understand this, I think you'll get excited. What am I talking about? It's right there on your screen. It's section 72. So the first thing, Case, I hope everybody will do, is Google section 72 of the Internal Revenue Code. Annuities are not just products. They're built into the code that we use to file our income taxes. It's the standard in which we have to pay income tax. Now, the legislators and their brilliant wisdom came up with section 72. What does that mean? Section 72 establishes tax deferred annuities. It gives you tremendous credibility because it's not James Rankin who's saying, this is a, a great opportunity. It's the code itself. So when you walk in with the code, they're gonna say, wow, I'm gonna listen to this guy. By the way, everybody who's on the call case, I will send this to you. It's uh, tax tables. This is important to have with you as well. So I would have section 72 and I'd have this as well because here is where you can actually show people their taxes. And the Sounds bulk good. of people, now follow me on this one, the bulk of people are having to pay taxes based on their bracket. 
if I can lower their bracket, I can lower their taxes. How do we do that? Well, let me ask you a question, Angelique. How would you like it if I could take interest income off your income taxes? Everybody on this call has that power to not only insure people in case they die to make sure the family has money, you can take interest income off people's income taxes, thereby lowering their income taxes. That in itself is worth the time we spent together to know you have that power. That's part of your license. The fact that I have a group one license means I can help clients take interest income off their income taxes. Why? Because of section 72. Wow. Now, here's the first question I'd like you to ask your client because this works. I'm telling you, I'm giving you some inside secrets here that most people don't know or don't have access to. You do today. When you're talking to somebody, I always say, tell me about where you save your money. And most people save their money at a bank. And I always say, you know, that's smart. You know, there's over two, actually there's, I want to say there's like $3 trillion in banks right now, three trillion. And so I always say it's smart to have your money at a bank. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna beat up banks, but I ask them this. Where do you have your real savings though? And they tell me I have a CD. Okay, was it a one-year CD? Great. What's your interest rate? 50 basis points? Okay. Great. Hey, let me ask you a question. I'll write this one down because this is important. What are you doing with the interest? Are you compounding it? Are you using it to live on? Either way, we're going to get the business. You follow me? Because you can address both of those situations. But for most people who are savings, we'll tell you, I'm compounding the money. Great. Well, I commend you on that. Right now, we need to, because the only money we're going to have in the future is the money that you send on ahead, right? When I was in sales, I used to tell people, sitting there in front of me is a young man, 40 years old, but also there's an 80-year-old man sitting there right next to him, and that's you. The only money the old man's going to have is the money the young guy sends ahead. Think about that. That's a great image. Nice point. That people one can see. one percent. All right, I'm going to go ahead and mute. If y'all could mute your lines there, because we're going to pick up some background. There we go. Okay, so uh, once again, uh, be in, be in sync with your client and ask these questions because they're important. So when they say they're compounding, I always like to look at them and say this: Why are you paying tax on money that you're not using? Now think about that. Why are you paying tax on money that you're not using? Do I have a choice? Yes, you do. Section 72 of the Internal Revenue Code allows you to save money and to accumulate that money without having to pay tax on it. Later on, I'm going to show you a slide that we designed that talks about triple compounding. Get that in your lexicon. You can offer, unlike any other investment, what we call triple compounding. Principal earning interest, interest earning interest, and now interest earned on money you would otherwise pay in income taxes. Guys, that is perfect. That's a conceptual sell. People go, wow, I get it. And they will get it. And you'll get that money. And I'm telling you, it'll be remarkable. We got guys making tons. I have a guy right now making $500,000 a year selling just annuities. 500,000. Wow. So that is not fantasy. That is true. But you have to master the sell. You can't just the hawking products. I've been in so many presentations. I travel with agents and they want to talk about interest rates, index rates. They want to talk about string company. No, you got to take your time and really understand the clients from the client's point of view. All right. And I'm going to show you some amazing stuff here in a little bit, but I wanted to get it kicked off with section 72. All right. Uh, Case, I'm telling you, I don't think that a lot of people know what's in store, but when you take a look at the total package, I think you're going to get excited. First of all, you got to know a presentation. I wrote a book called Mastering Method Selling, and it's on Amazon. And no big deal, it's an ebook, uh, but it's powerful. And it's something I've always subscribed to, in case I think you can attest to this. You got to have a sell script. You can't wing it. So I put together a set. In fact, I'll show it to you right now. This is the actual sell script. This is 40 years of experience in one presentation. Look at these questions to get the table set. How do you make financial decisions? What does money mean to you? When was the first time you made serious money? I mean, these are questions where people go, wow, you're gonna, you're gonna get them to open up to you. Here's more questions about insurance that I think is important. Here's more questions. And there's a great presentation there as well. So I think you'll, uh, 
I think you really will enjoy that. That is available once you get contracted. I will give you that sales script. And if you can learn it, you practice with other people, practice with your wife, your husband, it, you get it down where it's second nature, you're going to be unbeatable. And write this word down. What you want to be is irresistible to your client. They got to have it. And you can be that person. If you're not that person, you can develop that by once again, realizing what selling is. Selling is not something I do to you. It's something I do for you. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm educating them on annuities. I'm showing them a better way to save money, a more tax efficient way, and really how to complement the insurance I already sold them. Case, you're primarily a huge life insurance brokerage operation, which is great. But now your agents will have the second leg, the cross sell. The cross sell is the annuity. Now watch this. If you're taking notes, write this one down because this is powerful. I just sold them a life insurance plan. I would say, congratulations. That's one of the best decisions you will ever make. And I don't have one client who ever regretted buying the life insurance. But I've only done half my job. I protected you against dying too soon. But what if you live too long? What happens then? And that's why I want to talk to you because I have a product that is only issued by insurance companies and it's called a tax deferred annuity. It's made possible by section 72. But what this does is it guarantees you lifetime income. So just like a life insurance plan that protects you against dying too soon, this helps protect you against living too long. And it's almost a reverse image of a life insurance plan. A life insurance, I pay monthly premiums and I get a lump sum at the end, don't I? With the annuity, I pay with a lump sum and I get lifetime monthly payments. And that's how that works. So I think it'll be idea. But I designed a presentation called P cubed. P cubed, I think you'll love this. P cubed, basically, first P stands for protection. In fact, you know, if you don't mind, let me shut my office door, okay? Say, Barbara. Yeah, there, there's a meeting going down the hall. One second, I apologize. All right. Sorry about that, guys. I've never had to leave a presentation, but uh, we do have some people in the office and they we conducted. So, OK, let's let's continue on. The P1 is protection. Now, watch this very carefully because I think you'll like this. What I'm getting at is. When you're talking to a client, you can say my first job is to protect your money. Who's going to argue with you? Think about that. No one will argue with you. And so what you basically say is I want to protect you against taxes, against market volatility, against inflation, uh, creditors, withdrawal rates. And so they're, they're going to they're going to come aboard with you because they're going to realize, I don't know why I'm wearing this. I don't need this. Um, but think about that. Now, I designed this piece here that I think you'll like. And this is something that will help you close more nudies than you can realize. This is called when do you run out of money? Now, I got this idea from Fidelity Investments. They did a survey with people over 65, true story, and they asked them, how much can you take out of your nest egg without running out of money? And over 75% said they could take out 10%. Well, if you do the math, and this is all based on numbers, I love numbers because numbers are facts. You can't lie with numbers. They're there, I mean, if you do it legitimately. So here, by looking at the withdrawal rate of 10%, if they're earning 1%, can you see on the screen here, Case? They're out of money in 11 years. You see that? If they are 65 and they're married, and it's a male, they have a life expectancy of 23 years, according to our actuary tables. So you look at your client and you go, if that's facts, what are you gonna do for those 12 years you don't have money? That will wake people up because you've got to you've got to stir them. That's how they're going to buy things. You stir them up and they realize I don't want to be out of money. That's every man's biggest fear. I ran out of money. <laughs> you don't want to run out of money until you run out of life. You realize that? So the key here is how can we create something that will give you lifetime income? We can do that. Now, I'm going to put a quick plug in for National Western. National Western is the number one company in the country. I say that with total conviction that has the best payout. And what I mean by that, if you have a client 
who needs income within five years, we are the best play. And let me tell you very quickly how that works. First of all, we give you top bonuses. You have a potential of getting up to 12% bonus to your client. They have 100,000, that's $12,000 we're gonna put into their account. Also, we will guarantee them a 5% growth until they withdraw it. If they are 65 years old, they will receive a 5.5% percentage out of that account for as long as they live without ever reducing their income base. Guys, is that not beautiful or what? And when I run the numbers, you're going to be like, wow. I used to, when I used to, I used to say, I want somebody, and I, please don't take this the wrong way. I want somebody to feel foolish if they didn't buy. And I do that with love in my heart. I'm serious. But you, you make it just so irresistible that they have to buy. They're going to feel stupid if they don't buy. Seriously. So think about some of the concepts. I, I've, I've thrown a lot at you, but this is just the first part. But you can imagine, once you get the whole program working, once you know, and you know that you know, you're going to be unstoppable. You're going to make a lot of money. All right? All right. We just got a new person on board. Glad you're here. And I'm going to go ahead and mute. I'm going to go ahead and mute you there. That Perfect. Thank you for joining us. Okay, we're just getting started. So if you're brand new to us, I'm James Rankin. I'm with the Moody Group. Work with Case. We're helping with annuities. The objective today is to give you some great principles to help you sell annuities because annuities will complement your life insurance business. It will help your clients because you're completing the puzzle. Life insurance protects against dying too soon. Annuities are protection against living too long. You got to have both of them and you can make money with both hands on that. Seriously. All right. So I think you guys have the first P. First P is protection. You are there to protect their money. I'm telling you, so many people put their money in penny stocks. They put it in real estate. Now, let me, let me share something with you real quick here because you're going to love this part. Annuities have surrender charges, which is the best part of the program. Think about that. Some of you go, you're crazy, James. Nobody wants a, a surrender penalty. I love them, and I'll tell you why. If you want to invest in real estate, all right, and you need money in five years, in five months, how much money will you get from that property? You know, I want to buy gold, James. Yeah, gold, gold's a good investment. I pay money in gold. I think gold can be a good investment. But let's say you need money in five years and five months. How much can you get for your gold investment? Uh, I want to buy stocks. Okay, you know, you want to buy uh, Alphabet, the Google stock. Fantastic. You need money in five years and five months. How much do you get? You had no clue. With an annuity, I can tell you to the penny how much you would get. That's powerful. That's taking something negative and making it positive. All right. So once again, we want to protect their money. Secondly, what do we want to do? You guys, you're doing this with your life insurance. Let's do it with their investments. P2 stands for participation. How would you like to participate in the equity markets with no downside risk? We can do that. We have the Mark V, low volatility, which is a great strategy, which we'll talk about at another training. But think about that. You can participate in the market with no downside risk. Now, I have a whole program I train on dealing with passive and actively managed investing. Those are only two methodologies you have. That's why it makes sense to index, because the index is the market. You realize that? Active money managers rarely beat their index. So why would I want to pay more for actively managed when I can be a passive investor and have the safety and beat the money managers? And that's true. So uh, think about that. So you're participating. So P2, participation in the equity markets. And lastly, my favorite, predictable lifetime income. Think about that. So uh, once again, if you think about your presentation, it's a perfect scenario because you're selling conceptual. Ready? P1, protect protection of the money. Two, participation. Three, predictable lifetime income. And you could even add a fourth component, which is peace of mind. Which case I probably need to put in here because that does make sense. Don't you want to have peace of mind? People do want that. All right, let's get to it. Annuities. What is an annuity? Plain and simple. Brilliance is taking something complex and making it simple to understand. 
Too many salespeople take something simple, they complicate it to make themselves look smarter and the client's confused. And I hope everybody on this call will, will back me up when I say a confused mind says no. So if you didn't buy or were not able to, to sell this to this individual, you have to ask yourself, did they understand it? And let me throw it to you. How many things have you purchased in your lifetime that you didn't understand? How about zero? You never buy something you don't understand. So that's why we want to take the time, which we're doing now, and explaining to people how annuities work. Annuities are a great investment for middle-income America, as well as the very wealthy. There's no doubt because of the inherent components in the annuity, tax deferral, higher growth rates, and also accessibility. Liquidity is an integral part of that as well that most people are not aware of. So we'll continue on. So what is an annuity? Simply put, annuity is simply a contract between you and an insurance company that guarantees lifetime income. And I'll be frank with you, Arlene, uh, you're new to this, but there's so many brokers who've been in the industry for 20, 30, 40 years who don't sell annuities correctly. I'm serious, I've seen it. They sell annuities as investments or they sell annuities as CD alternatives and all they do is roll it every year, they roll it to somebody else. Or after the surrender period, they roll it. That's not the way to do it. The way to do it is to get a person to lock in with the company, get a guaranteed growth and then guaranteed payout. So that way they'll get lifetime income. You can't do that when you're moving the money around too much, all right? Also, here's triple compounding. I talked about this earlier. Principal earning interest, interest earning interest, and then earning interest on money you would otherwise pay in income taxes. Think about that. Now, if you're taking notes, write this down because this will pay dividends. There's no doubt it will. I like to look at clients. This is fun. But you look at clients and you say these words because they work. Do you realize, Bob, when you pay income taxes, you lose all interest earning ability on that money forever. You realize that? Let me repeat that. When you pay income taxes, you lose all interest earning ability on that money forever. Doesn't it make sense to hold on to it, to grow it, and to protect it against income taxes? That's what I would say. And that's what you have the ability to do, all right? Triple compounding, think about that. These are some good terms that will help you sell more annuities. All right, the next part, I put this together. And, and by the way, Case, I'll, I'll give this to you and you can give it to your agents. I love this. And this is something that I learned years and years ago, but it makes sense. It is compounding, but I did something uniquely different. I took the compounding and I added taxes to it. So let me explain this with you briefly. And this is a great opening question for your clients. And I'm gonna ask you this question. I want everybody to write their answers down if you will. Which would you rather have? Would you like me to give you $1,000 a day for 30 days or simply give you a penny, but I'm gonna compound it every day? Which would you rather have? And what would be your answer? If you're not thinking clearly, you'll probably say, hey, I'll take the thousand bucks. Do you realize that a penny compounded every day at 100% will equal 10,737,418.24? Guys, that's mind boggling. And I call that magnetized to the magnificent. Is there investment that does this? No, <laughs> doubtful. But it does show you the power of compounding. I'm gonna show you a couple of components here too you'll really like. But what I wanted to do is I said, what would you have if you had to pay taxes on that 100% growth every day? I got one of our actuaries to work the numbers. This is back when we had 28% tax bracket. But what would be your guess? 10 million and you had to pay taxes on that. What would it be worth at the end of 30 days? What do you think it would be? The answer, $116,000. You went from 10 million to 116,000, which is still more than 30,000. But the point is you've shown how compounding works, but you've also demonstrated how destructive taxes are. And I'll tell you something else that's destructive is inflation. Inflation erodes the future earning power of every one of your clients. And we have to fight it. And how do we do it? Through annuities. And I'll show you how we do that a little bit. It's just gonna 
It's remarkable. I think you'll really like it. Um, so anyway, you this piece is available. I'll give it to Case, and hopefully if you get contracted, you can have this. But very quickly, because uh, we're already 30 minutes, um, everybody knows the rule of 72, don't you? It's kind of fun to share that with clients. You know, how long does it take to double your money? How about this one? How about the rule of 114? How long does it take you to triple your money? And how about rule 144? How long does it take you to quadruple your money? And we can show you that annuities can do all three of those over time. And that's the key, time. All right. So any feedback? Do you have any questions offhand? I mean, we're talking pretty much concept and a little bit of the product. Anybody have any feedback? All right, let's continue on. Okay, types of annuities. Now, here's something that's very important is you have a single premium immediate annuity. This is what's given annuities a bad name, to be really honest with you. Why? Because typically companies have what is called a life option. I never would allow a client to use a life option. Okay, now this is not income riders. This is just plain annuities. Here's how it works. It's a maximum payout, but there are no survivorship benefits. So in other words, if I have a million dollars and I put a single premium contract together and I get the maximum paid to me and I die next year, where does that money go? It stays with the company. That is a bad deal. And that's why we don't do that. What you typically do as an income rider, if there's any money left over, it goes to a beneficiary. You could do a period certain. I like period certain. Period certain means that I'm guaranteed payments for a set time, 10 years, 15, 20, 30 years. It means I'm guaranteed to get payments for that period of time. All right. Now, if I die, my family will get whatever years are remaining. So if I have a 10 year and I die the fifth year, my family will get five more years of payments until the money's ex you know, exhausted, which I think is a, is a good deal to certain people. All right. But here's another one. You can do a period certain with a life provision. What does that mean? That means I get a little bit lower payment, but I'm guaranteed payments for 10 years. If I die the fifth year, my family gets five years. If I live beyond 10 years, I get that same income for as long as I live. Now we have a company, one of our companies, and I think you may already be with them and that's fine because I love American National. It's one of our companies. It's part of the Moody family. That's why we're Moody Group because uh, we have Mr. Moody's company, National Western, and then we have Anico as well. Now there's different distribution channels and that's you happen to be in another distribution channel, which is fine. You have access to that company now. So what I'm trying to say is that you do have a variety of means. So I would say become a student, learn about that. And that's some good information. But Anico also is one of the only companies that has a cost of living adjustment on their single premium. So if you have an older client who needs income, I think that's a good play case. Take that money, put it into a single premium, get payments for as long as they live. And then every year they'll increase it by 3%, that income. And that helps you outpace inflation. Now inflation is over 3%, but at least it helps you put a bite into inflation. Whereas anybody else, they had none. So think about that. All right, we're rocking along here real quick here. Variable annuities, yes. Uh, variable annuities, you need a security license unless you use the 401k plan, but we won't get into that today. Fixed annuities. These are contracts with guaranteed interest rates. You have index annuities, which I'm a huge fan of because we can link to domestic and international indices to guaranteed income. So that's good. So there's no risk to your money. Now, this is something a lot of people get confused on. Arlene, you may like this part. You can use annuities. I'd say annuities are the most versatile investments you can have. Why? Because first of all, you can have a qualified annuity. That means it's set up with before tax dollars, okay? Which means you've never paid tax on the principal or the interest. And you can use these in IRAs. I use annuities in 401k plans, 457s. You can use them in defined benefit plans. So it is very unique in that side. But you can also use them for non-qualified. Non-qualified means I've already been taxed on my money, but now I want the interest to be tax deferred. You see that? So two different types. And they're both very important. That's why you can have multiple annuities for clients. All right, as we rock along here, income riders, I think this will revolutionize the annuity industry because this is what I said earlier. This is what annuities were designed for that nobody utilized. And that is income annuities, income riders. Once you understand how to sell them, 
you will sell millions of dollars of this over your career. Why? Because with that, we will guarantee a growth rate. We will also guarantee a payout rate for as long as they live. They will never outlive their income. And so many people ask me, should I put all my money into it? Well, of course not. There's two types of entries in your budget, discretionary, non-discretionary. The discretionary can be used with equity dollars, my mutual funds, my stocks, right? Because it's my choice of how I spend that money. Now, follow me. Non-discretionary means I have to pay that every single month. That would be my taxes. That would be my energy bill. That would be my gasoline for my cars. That would be my food. That would be my mortgage. That needs to be funded with an annuity. And so when I'm dealing with large estates, that is a great strategy to say, what do you absolutely have to have? Okay, in that case, then we need to put 40% into the annuity and 60% can go into your investment portfolio. I'm telling you, most people never know that. It's profound and it will help you sell millions of dollars of annuities because they get it. They realize it doesn't make sense to have my money at risk when I need it to live on. So let's carve off a portion I'm going to need. Let's make sure it's there and I have guaranteed lifetime income. The rest we can speculate with, okay? And there's nothing wrong with speculation. I'm not a hypocrite. Uh, I, I believe in penny stocks. I believe in mutual funds. I believe in regular stocks and, and uh, separate managed accounts. But I also believe that the core of my budget needs to be protected into annuities. And there it is. All right. So that is it for that. Now, very quickly, what I promised you we would do is I have a couple of uh, programs here that I think could make a difference. One is the 25-point annuity checklist. Now, let's be frank here. You're going to run across people that already have annuities. I say fantastic. You want people that already own annuities. And I'll tell you a little secret. I hope you never forget this. I can tell a lot about the future by looking at the past. If your client bought life insurance in the past, they're going to buy it again. If they never bought insurance, it's a tougher act. If they've already bought annuities in the past, they will buy annuities again. And you have a chance to do something very unique. And it's called a 1035 tax free exchange. I hope you're doing this with your life insurance because you make a lot of money that way too. But 1035 simply means this they have an annuity with another company. They started with 100,000, it's up to 200,000 and they're unhappy. The interest rates are low. They don't like their agent. They don't have an agent, but they like you. They like what you presented. And so they want to roll it over. They're going to have to pay tax on that 100,000, right? Which represents the growth of that annuity unnecessarily. By utilizing a 1035 tax-free exchange, I can roll that annuity from that company to my new company and I get full compensation on all of it. And I've seen people roll one, 1.5, 1.7 million in old annuities. And you know they're out there. You have clients that have annuities. And that may be why you're on here, because you want to learn how to sell it. This is how you do it. But I love the 24, 25 point checklist. And the reason I like that so much is because you become a consultant. You're not just bashing the other company. I don't like to bash anybody. We need everybody. But what I like to do, and this is carefully worded, let's take a look at the A and BEST rating. Has the rating changed? What's their capital surplus? What are the assets? Where are they located? These are all basic questions on the company itself. And then you get into the product. Does the existing product have an income rider? What is the percentage for distribution? Boom, you hit this. I'm telling you, you uncover a lot. Product, and then I, I do a whole training session case on how to structure annuities. And number one, you know, there's three parties to an annuity, but you got to get it right. And a lot of agents don't get it right. And so that can be very effective. So this, this gives you some great ideas. It's a great beneficiary listed. Who's the present owner of it? Who's listed as the annuitant? Who's the contingent beneficiary? So those are all very important questions, which demonstrates to your clients that you are a credible source for information and you're gonna help them. And for that, you're gonna make a lot of money. You are, because annuities are a great source of revenue for you and it can help your life business, period. So it's gonna increase your life business, it's gonna increase your income and it's gonna help your clients stay with you because the more products you have with your client, the more stickability they'll be, seriously. Studies have shown that if they have three products, the chances of having that client for over 10 years increases dramatically. So that is something. So you had that, that's free of charge. And you got the script, 
that we talked about, which is idea. Now I'm going to show you something pretty amazing, and I hope I can do it. But unfortunately, um, this um, this thing is blocking my uh, ability to get to this um, this product. But you know what? I will. Um, it's a product that I'm going to share with you. It's called an Excel. I'm going to, let me just pull it up right now for you, so you will see it. And here it is right here. Great. Oh, this is the one I'm looking for. Guys, you will love this if I can open it up. And I did open it. Good. All right. Now, work with me on this. And we're going to conclude with this one. And I want you to sit back. I want you to act as though you're a client. Okay? That's always the best way. Because you get to hear it as your client hears it. I call this the real rate of return. This has resulted in millions of dollars of sales, period. You look at my eyes. I'm not lying. Millions of dollars of sales because of this one little presentation. It's called the real rate of return. We've used this in institutions. I'm telling you, it works. All right, that's enough hype. You have $100,000, okay? That's the parameter. We're setting the table. So it's 100,000. They're earning 50 basis points in their bank, which is about the average. Uh, we have an annuity rate. I don't know why it's here. I apologize. I'm gonna change this because we, well, you know what? Apps, you know what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna change it. And I'm just going to use uh, yeah, one second. Let me do this. Okay, here we go. I am just going to use our bonus. We have a seven percent bonus product, okay, which I think is pretty amazing. But I'll tell you that for a couple of reasons. Okay, so seven percent in the annuity. We'll use that for the first year. The tax bracket. I'm going to use. You know, let's get down to. Uh, this is an older one I had because I had the other one pulled up and I can't get to it. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do this right. So let's go ahead and go. Let's use 22% tax bracket. And by the way, um, everybody who's on this call, I'm going to make sure that you get our uh, our tax guide. Okay, I think you'll like that. Um, okay, so 22%. Uh, tax rate, inflation, I'm going to use 5%. Inflation's creeping up. Now, once again, if you can write this down, because I'm telling you, you're going to help your clients understand what inflation is. Inflation is the future erosion of purchasing power. And you don't want people to have to suffer with that. And that's why we want to outpace inflation. But let me cut to it. And what I love about this is I show people what they're currently doing. Bob, you have 100000 in your credit union or your bank. Let's take a look at what that really looks like. It's called the real rate of return. Okay, follow me on this one. You have $100,000. So your annual interest rate is $500. Is that correct? Yes. Now, unfortunately, you're going to get a 1099 from your credit union or your bank and your taxes based on 22% is going to be $110, which only leaves you $390, which means you're really only earning 39 basis points. Do you see that? Now, if you had inflation of 5%, you actually have a negative 4.610%. Now, here's where you got to use a little dramatics. Bob, you worked hard for your money. You saved your money. You're earning interest rate on it, but you still end up less than you started with. You realize that you're actually losing money by saving money. There's got to be a better way, and that's why I'm here because the government set up a tax code, you're familiar with the tax code, where there's a section called 72 in there. That establishes the ability for you to reposition your money into an annuity. And under section two, the money is not taxed until you withdraw it. Now, because it's longer term, you get a higher interest rate. In this case, we actually, I'm gonna show you just the bonus rate. We have a 7% bonus for you. Now, let me do this real quick for you because you'll love this. They're earning 50 basis points. You have to do the math on this one. Do you realize, based on what you're doing right now, it would take you 14 years to earn the interest that we can give you today? Guys, if you can't close on that, if they don't see that, there's, there's a serious problem. But let's finish this. Now, with the smart money strategy, you take the 100000 you take the 7% bonus, which by the way, there's a base rate on it of 1.5. So you got 8.5, but 7%, let's just do that. 
you realize there's no taxes due on this. So there's no taxes, which is zero, which leaves you 7%. Now we still have to contend with inflation at 5%, but that still leaves you a net return of 2%. Now watch this guy. You talk about a closing question. Here's a closing question. Bob, which of these two accounts would you rather own? Conventional savings, what you're doing now, our smart money strategy. They say, yes, you got them. You never close a person unless you know they're going to buy. In this case, they've already told you, yes, I want that. Now it's time to get into the product because there's two parts to annuity presentation. There's a law that makes it possible. Then there's a product that funds it. And once again, with National Western, you've got some great products. In case, I hope I come back and really drill down on the products because I think once you understand how to sell annuities and how to sell the product, you're going to have a winning combination and there's no doubt. So once again, to lock in my word, those of you who came to this workshop, who are contracted with National Western, a number of you may be, or you will be, uh, you will get the 25 point checklist, you'll get the script, and you'll also get a real rate of return. And then we can help you break it down. Case, what do you think so far, buddy? Awesome, James, that was great. And like you say, we, we, uh, we should plan for another session that you can come back and talk about the products. Love to do it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, guys, any other questions for James? No, I, but I'd like to say, this is Angeline. I'd like to say I really enjoyed the presentation and um, I learned a lot and I really, really would love to learn more. Well, Arlene, I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you if you like. If you, you call look... me Arlene one more time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What, what, how do you pronounce your name? Angeline. <laughs> Angeline. Okay. Angie, I think it's my favorite song. Angie. Remember that? <laughs> You're funny. Okay. I apologize. Your name's very important. That's okay. <laughs> but I'm going to make a promise to you this, if Case will, uh, will agree to this. Uh, you look through your file cabinet, you find a client that you would like to do the annuity presentation and I will help you. We'll do a coaching session with you. And if you want me to help with the presentation, I'll be more than happy to. And we have a pretty good closing ratio. So awesome. that is for you for being so sweet and for jumping on this call, okay? Thank you so much. <laughs> you got it. All right, thank you, James. Thank you, everyone. And uh, I'll be sure to set up another uh, uh, training with James and we'll, go, uh, we'll dive into the product, okay? Thank you awesome. very much. Thank you. Hey, take care, Case. Thank you so much. Thank you, James. Thanks for your time. Thanks. Bye-bye you now.